Now, I know that it's past 10 o'clock. I know that it's past 10 o'clock and some of y'all have been here to 7 p.m. since 7. But can you do me a favor? Can you get one thing on your mind that you know that God did for you this year? Can everybody get one thing on your mind that when you think of that one thing, you say nobody did it but God. Now with that one thing on your mind, can you do me a favor? Can you lift your hands right there? Come on, saints. Come on, lift your hands, won't you? With that on your mind and with your hands lifted, can you now open your mouth? There's a sound needs to be in the building and it doesn't need to come from the instrument it needs to come from us in the building come on open your mouth and begin to thank God for what he's already done come on can I hear the saints we honor you we magnify you we glorify you you are God you are great you are highly lifted you are our healer our deliverer our way maker and what do we do we open our mouths and we give you glory we give you glory for being a good God. We give you glory for being a great God. We give you glory for being a mighty God. Come on, I need to hear you. We give you glory for being our savior, our deliverer, our provider, our way maker. You've been good to us, I need to hear you. And what do we do? We open our mouths and we give you glory. Can I hear the saints? Ah, uh, not quite there yet. I need you to open your mouth and we open our mouths and we give you glory. You've been good to us. You covered us. You held the hand of the enemy back. You bind the devil. You healed us. You delivered us. You made a way out of no way. And what do we do? We open our mouths and we give you glory. Everybody, open your mouth and release a worship in this building. Go, go, go. Glory to God. Clap your hands and release a praise right there. Hallelujah. Come on, on your way to your seat. I need you to release something in the atmosphere. I need you to touch two people and just say, Tonight, 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 tonight. I need you to say that. Tonight. Come on, I need that to come out of your mouth. I need you to open your mouth and put that in the atmosphere. You might have been waiting for 10 months, but God can do it in one night. Come on, y'all. I need you to touch and agree with somebody. Touch two people and put that in the atmosphere. Touch somebody and say, tonight, 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 tonight. I didn't come this far to play, but I came to be healed. I came to be delivered. I need you to open your mouth, saints. Open your mouth and say, tonight. 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 Come on, on your way to your seat. Touch somebody and say, tonight. Hey. Go ahead and be seated tonight. 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 Tonight, 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 tonight. I honor the Lord for being here and I don't take it by chance or by accident. But I don't know about you, but I'm at a time in my life that I don't just go to church to be going to church. I need you to hear me. I need to be in the right place at the right time. And I don't need to play with anybody. I need to be around the right people. And if you didn't come to get anything from God, you in the wrong place at the wrong time, because God could do something in one night that you waited on for 10 years. I tried to get you to speak it because you got to put it in the atmosphere. Some things you got to put out there. When you speak it, the Bible says that none of Samuel's words hit the ground. When you speak it, it begin to walk. One more time. Say tonight and put a praise behind it. Tonight. There it is. Tonight. He He Come on, say it again. Tonight. Sometimes you got to know how to go above your tiredness. Push yourself. I hope you're sitting in the pushing section. Open your mouth again. Put it up. 
there. Put it out there. Prophesy to yourself. Open your mouth and say, tonight, hear myself. your neighbor say tonight, tonight, tonight. Go ahead and have a seat tonight. Tonight, 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 tonight. Hey, Masha. Roto Rebe She. Ina Sando the Bosaya. Hey, K. Roto Raba Babo Sianda Laba Say. Ina Nanda the Bosaya. Ina Nanda the Bose. It's shaking. Hey, Mashaya. Udana Nama Say. Nando si ando rose, kinanda rabo saya, bo sheke, bo shaya, bo shato rubo sa, ye ma shaya. Oh ma 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 sa, ye ma sha, kinanda rama sa. So let me get this out the way. Everybody lift your hands and open your mouth and worship. No music, nothing but voices. I need to hear the voices. Open your mouths. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. Come on, come on, come on, saints. Come on, fill this building. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Come on there's a sound. Hey! Come on, come on, come on, a few more seconds. Come on, if the one next to you ain't saying nothing, forget them, jump over them. But I need you to be the desperate one in the building. You spent too much money to go home the way you came. Listen, go, go. Uh, oh my, oh my, oh my. Mm. The presiding bishop, 
Bishop Blake, his first assistant. Bishop Brooks, his second assistant. Bishop Macklin, to all the bishops, to the general supervisor, Mother Lewis, to the first lady, May Blake. Ema Shaya Matando Mashande Masheke Roto Matande Mashende Mashando Rabose Ike Randa Masaya Aya Aya. But most of all, to you, to you, to you, God, we give you glory. 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 Come on, a few more seconds, please. Hey, Ema Mama. to hear me tonight. Church of God in Christ, please, 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 I beg you to hear me tonight. I have been sent back to let you know that your labor is not in vain. I need you to hear me. I need you to hear me. I look around this room, so many familiar faces. So many when I was in college coming, when I graduated I came, when I served Bishop Willie James Campbell for 19 years, when he would preach, I served. And many of you all, you're looking for greatness, but you're not serving. Because the Bible says he that is great among you must become servant. You can't get a briefcase until you get an apron. Come over here. You can't get a rope until you serve somebody. You're looking for a title, but the question is, who have you served? Let's talk. And I've been traveling the world, and I need you to hear me. I've been traveling the world, and I've had other races and denominations to say to me, would you come to us? But I know what they wanted. They wanted to point at me and say, look what we've made. But they can't take the credit, because you're not the foundation. But the foundation started right here. So anything that's built has to be built on an already established foundation. Come on here. I need you to touch your neighbor and say, you're in the right place at the right time. Have a seat for me for one minute. You're in the right place. Have a seat for me for one minute at the right time. So I've been traveling the world and I need you to hear me. I'm preaching in places that I'm the only black on the program. I'm preaching in places that 98% of them are not my race. And I'm watching other, other nationalities get up and nobody, nobody preaches as hard as you all. Nobody sing as hard as you all. Nobody give they all as much as you all. But we have less. That don't match. Because to whom much is given. And as much as you keep releasing, you're supposed to be further than where you are right now. Ah, come on, release a prophetic word on your neighbor. Touch your name, say, you about to get back pay. Oh, my shy. I need some, I need you to open your mouth. I need you to release that in your neighbor. Your labor has not been in vain. Touch your neighbor, say, you about to get back pay. And your ladder is going to be greater. Oh, oh, shit. Hey, shit. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I had to look at this thing. I'm like, God, what's going on? You can't tell me you prejudice. You can't tell me that they're the only ones that can have it. You cannot tell me that I got to go to another nationality to see first class. The devil is alive. It's about to start with you. 
He's about to enlarge your territory. He's about to blow your mind. He's about to give you what you saw, not what you see. You just missed what I just said. He's going to give you what you saw, not what you see. I need you to go get your vision back. Don't tell me what you see. Tell me what you saw. Because if you could praise God on what you saw and not what you see, then heaven can open up and give you what he... Okay. Okay, let's move fast. Let's move fast. Let's move fast. If you have your Bibles, let's go. In Mark 5, verses 38, we have to preach Bible. If you notice, there's a lot of stuff going on in our churches, but we're not preaching Bible. Many of us are getting caught up in the prophetic without word. <laughs> Come on here. But he sent his word to heal. And I need some of y'all to hear me. You got to know Bible. Because when you get done singing, when you get done prophesying, yeah, I need you to know that Bible. Come on here. Ain't nobody going to say that to me now. Because you want a word, but you don't know the word. <laughs> Can we just go Bible for a few minutes? Let's go Bible. Touch it and say, let's go Bible. So in Mark 5, you can look at the screen. In verse 38, the Bible says, when they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying and wailing loudly. He went in and said to them, what's up? Why all this commotion and wailing? Then he said, spoke a prophetic word. The child is not dead, but sleep. But they laughed at him. After he put them out. I need you to warn your neighbor. Tell him, don't get put out tonight. Don't get put out tonight. Come on here. Come on here. After he put them out, he took the child's father and mother, that's one group, and the disciples, which is who? Peter, James, and John, who were with him and went in, that's the second group, and went in where the dead child was. That's the third group. So here we are in the gospel according to Mark, the fifth chapter. If you know Bible, you know that Matthew, Mark, and Luke are known to be the synoptic gospels. What you find in one, more than likely you're going to find in the other. The only one that's not a synoptic gospel is John. You will only find two miracles in John that you'll find in the other three. Number one, when he fed 5,000 with two fish and five barley loaves. Those of us from the hood thought that there was two sardines and five saltine crackers. And everybody got to get their grub on. Listen to me. And because John told us it was a lad that released the bag. It was not a person of position or power. It was a lad that released the bag and everybody got to get their grub on. Can I tell you something? While you looking for somebody who got title and position, you sit next to the one that got the bag. <laughs> they could be the one that can open the bag and give you your deliverance and give you your healing. They don't have a title, but they got the anointing. Come on here. Let's talk for a minute. Can we talk? The other miracle that you would read in the Bible is when he walked on water. This incident that we're looking at tonight is found in Mark 5 and also in Luke 8. Let's bag this thing up to see how he worked it to the fifth chapter. In the first chapter, I call it the release chapter. We don't meet Jesus as a baby, but we meet him at the age of 30. Listen carefully. He prepared 30 years to do three years. Some of y'all only been saved one year and you're ready to be released. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. But he studied for the, and sat behind the scene for 30 years. Finally, the Bible says he is led to the wilderness, listen carefully, where John the Baptist ministry is. Please, I need some of y'all to hear me because you're looking for a ministry to be in mainstream lights, but there's somebody that's called to the wilderness. But when you got the wilderness, when you got the anointing, people will walk to the wilderness to get what they need from you. So don't despise that you're in a small town. God has sent somebody to a small town just to get the oil that's on your life. I need you to touch your neighbor and say, you're in the right place. You're in the right place. When he's baptized, we see God the Father who speaks from heaven, God the Son who goes in the water, and God the Holy Ghost who comes in the shape of a dove. Then the Bible says he was led, listen carefully, of the Spirit where? Deeper into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. What do you do when God gives you a scheduled time and the only company you can have is the devil? 
please listen he didn't put you here to kill you he put you here to, to prune you he put you here to perfect you because when you come out of here you're going to take off some of y'all have been having a wilderness experience but you're not going to come out the way you went in hear me clearly 2020 is about to be your takeoff year you went through hell in 19 but you're about to be re- you about to be released in the year 20 I wish you were sitting in the faith section can you do me a favor touch your neighbor and say you're about to be released you're about to be released your wilderness is over uh-uh, uh-uh, look at me. If they talking to you like this, yo, will, then this is over. Ah, uh, don't touch me. I need you to say that with authority and power. Look at your name and say, I decree and I declare, you are about to be released. I can tell the faith people, because when we said it, you immediately went into a praise. I'm going to give you an opportunity to put a praise behind your promise. Touch your name and say, release, release, release. <laughs> Let's go further. Chapter 2, we step into what I call the clarity chapter. The Bible says he's now sitting at a table eating with a tax collector by the name of Levi. Please listen. And some other sinners. Isn't it amazing that he's not eating with the Pharisees and the Sadducees? <laughs> Because many of you all only want to be around the Pharisees and the Sadducees. But they don't need you, do you see? Come over here. Let's go for a minute. The Bible says while he's sitting at the table, some of the Pharisees asked his disciples, why is he chilling with a tax collector and some sinners? Jesus heard them and he's clear, listen carefully, on his assignment. He said, look at me, the whole don't need a physician, but the sick do. I didn't come to you if you don't need me, but I only come where I'm needed and where I'm wanted. So while some of y'all sitting up in here trying to act like you don't need God, you better pull your weave back and put a ponytail in your head and look like you're ready for God to do something miraculous in your situation. I need you to touch your neighbor and say, I need him, 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 I need him. I need him. I didn't come to play with y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go find him. Let's go to the third chapter. When you get to the third chapter, I call that the focus chapter. Because you got to be careful because watch me. Some of y'all are praying to be elevated, but you're not ready to deal with the hatred and the warfare that go with elevation. Come on here. Let's talk for a minute. The Bible says that now he has literally handpicked his 12 boys. Can we talk for a minute? He even picked his Judas. And I need some of y'all to get the gift of discernment that you could pick your Judas. So when they do what they do, it don't shock you. Come on here. When I see you, I need to see your spirit before I see your flesh. I need to know you a liar before I even talk to you. I need to know you a backstabber before I even embrace you. Come on, let's go, Bob. Let's go, Bob. And the Bible says that he's getting a reputation. Please listen. He gets a reputation without Facebook. He gets a reputation without Instagram. He gets a reputation without a radio show or a TV show. He gets a reputation without how many likes he get. What does he have? Oil. <laughs> and some of y'all, why did you? I need you to do an oil check. I need you to make sure you sit next to a greasy person. I don't need you to sit next to somebody who think they all of that. But I need somebody that when I touch you, I got oil and you got oil. When we touch each other, we should slide up off of each other. I need... I feel the anointing in here. I feel the anointing in the building. Hey, Mashaya. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry. Let me calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Watch me. So watch me. So he's getting a buzz. He's getting a reputation. Everybody trying to see him. Everybody trying to be around him. He has now been elevated. You got to be careful when you go up here with what the people say down here. Because down here are the ones that you grew up with. Down here are the ones that knew you before you got up here. So when you go up here, it's watch me. Watch me. The higher you go, the thinner the air. Which means that you have to get used to not running with a large group. And some of y'all have been asking yourself, what have I been doing? Being elevated, going higher in God. And the higher you go, they start falling off. Why? Because pigeons can't fly with eagles. 
I need you to make sure you sit next to an eagle and not a pigeon. What is that? A pigeon do a whole bunch of flapping, but an eagle just went on the right wind to come. That's a worship position, ain't it? Is something happening when you lift your hands and begin? Can I get the whole building? Lift your hands for five seconds and worship. Five, four, three, two, one. Touch your neighbor and say, You're going higher. Touch your neighbor and say, And so are your critics increasing. Go ahead, have a seat for one minute. Have a seat for one minute. Come on, Bishop, have a seat. Come on, let's talk for a minute. When he goes higher, his family, his family, his mama, and his brothers say, we need to go get hold of him because he has lost his mind. Isn't it amazing that those that should know you don't know you? They only knew you down here. But when you came up here, they got another view of you that they'd never seen before. And the Bible says that they went to take hold of him. I need you to touch your neighbor and say, stay right there. I rebuke what your mama said. I rebuke what your daddy said. I rebuke every word curse that you've been under. I cancel every backbiting conversation that's been had about you. The devil is a liar. You're going to be everything that God created you to be. Come on here. And the Bible says that he stayed focused. Can we talk Bible for a minute? While he's sitting at the table, his mama and his brothers had the audacity to send the ushers in the house to tell him to come outside and here come that usher with that hand behind her back walking to get Jesus have you ever met one of them ushers that will interrupt the whole service trying to get somebody to come out it's the wrong time to disturb the anointing I wish that one time the usher would just fall out when the last time the usher fell out so annoying when you walk up on me you be like oh come on let's go let's go the bible said watch me watch me let's talk let's talk bible let's talk bible the bible said jesus sitting there the bible said jesus sitting there they say hey hey jesus your mama and your brother's outside and say come here and jesus looked at the table and say who is my mother and my brothers those that do the will. Watch me, that's how I know that Jesus wasn't black because a black mama wouldn't have had that mess. She would have kicked the door in and said, who you talking to? Boy, y'all ain't gotta say nothing to me. I don't care how anointed you is. Don't you ever forget where you came from. Ain't nobody gotta say nothing to me. But he stayed right there. And some of y'all allowing chatter to get you off your square. But God sent you in the building to get you back on square. Your last two months are gonna be better than your first 10. Come on here, because you're about to get back on your school. <laughs> Touch your name, say, stay there, stay there, stay there. Come on, y'all, let's work this thing for a little bit longer. Come on, have a seat, have a seat, let's go. Come on, let's go to four, let's go to four. Let's go to four. Come on, have a seat, y'all, sit down. Sit down. Come on, we gotta go to the fourth chapter. Hurry up, hurry up, sit down. Watch me. He gets to the fourth chapter, and watch me. And he told the disciples, come on, let's go to the other side. For everybody in the building, he's a God of movement. Can I say that again? He's a God of movement. And when he say shift, that means that you need to get on and let's go. Don't get stuck in a position where a shift has taken place and now everybody's moved on and you waving like this. I need you to make sure you're next to a shifter. <laughs> let's talk. When they get on the boat, the Bible says, and then a storm came. Please listen, just because you with him don't mean you won't have storm encounters. Can we, can we bust that bubble? Just cause you saved, sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost and do speak in one tongues, ducka, ducka, don't mean that you're not gonna catch hell. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. But the storm is not sent to kill you, but to test your faith. The Bible said that they begin to have a panic attack. 
And the Lord spoke to me before I got here and said that there are several of hundred of you that are in the middle of a storm and you're starting to panic and lose your mind. Yeah, they woke him up and said, don't you care that we're going to drown? And some of y'all sitting there, don't you care that I'm about to lose everything? Don't you care that my kids are crazy? Don't you care that my marriage ain't right? And he said, when they woke him up, he got up and he rebuked the storm and then came back and asked him, do you still not have faith? How can you be with me this long and still not believe that I am able to do anything? I don't care what you say. It's a lot of people in church that don't have faith. Oh, y'all ain't got to say that to me now. I can tell you don't have faith by what you post. I can tell you don't have faith by talking to you. I can tell you ain't got faith by your praise because a faith person don't wait to see it before they praise God. But a faith person give God a praise before it even happened. Y'all ain't got to say that to me. I better stop. I better stop. Well, let's go ahead and check the faith out of your room. I need you to make sure you sit next to somebody who got crazy faith. I'm talking about the kind that don't care what nobody think or what they say. That if God said it, it's a done deal. Touch your name and say, thus say the Lord, your ladder is going to be greater. I'm just going to see if you're going to praise God on that. I'm just going to see if you can give God a praise. You don't even have anything. But because I don't have it, don't mean that God ain't going to do it. Come on, let's go to... Let's go to five. All right, I'm almost done. Let's go. Let's go. Have a seat. Let's go to five. <laughs> Ready? When he comes out of the storm in five, please listen. A demonic man comes running out of the graveyard. And do more than what some of y'all do. Fell at his feet. And it's the first time that you read in scripture that he literally has conversations with demons. He, he has a conversation because he says, basically, I need you to zone, on, zone into what's happening right now. He said, what is your name? He says, my name is Legions. Listen carefully. Because we are many. In other words, I ain't out here by myself. I brought my crew with me. I got back up. Just in case anybody want to say something smart, I got a couple of depressed demons that could shut them down in a minute. <laughs> Listen, then the, the devil said something. He said, hey, bid us not. Listen carefully. I need y'all to listen. Don't make us leave this region. In other words, demonic spirits are assigned to certain regions. And for those of you that thinks your spiritual antenna should be up so that you can know what kind of warfare you under. <laughs> Watch me. The, the, the demon said, make us go into the pigs. Watch me. Jesus gave the demons permission to go into the pigs so that you could know what spirit was over that region. The Bible says that the demons got in the pigs and then ran off the cliff and committed suicide. Stop right there. So the spirit of that region was suicide. And saints, why you in here shouting, your sons and daughters are struggling with a spirit of suicide. Even the one next to you that's made up struggle with depression and thinking about taking a life. He brings you to the attention of the demon because guess what? You have the anointing to deal with whatever's demons that are in your region. Y'all ain't saying that to me now. So whatever city you live in, every demon got to come out. Y'all ain't saying that to me now. Every spirit has to come subject. Watch me. They don't have to like you, but they're going to respect the anointing that is on 
your life. Let's slow this thing down. I need you to touch the button on your right and your left and tell them you anointed for this. Hey, Masha. You anointed for this. Can I release a word to every preacher in here? After he gets the demons out of the man, and the man is now sitting up in his right mind, the Bible said that the people came and got Jesus and said, hey, buddy, we need you to get out of here. Why? Because you're disturbing the spirits of our region. And that's why some of y'all are catching hell in your city. Because you're disturbing the spirits of your region. And witches and warlocks are coming after you. But I heard the Holy Ghost say, I'm about to give you back up. If the devil got back up, you going to have back up. You didn't hear what I just said? He said, I'm giving my angels charge over you. By the time you get back to your city, you're going to have angels waiting on you to give. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Touch two people, please. Because some of y'all were thinking about quitting. Some of y'all thought, maybe this ain't my, my town. Based on your warfare, you in the right place. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Based on the warfare in your church, you at the right church. Because every time you give God praise, you make every witch mad. Every time you give God praise, you make every jealous demon upset. That's why the devil want to stop you from praising God. I wish I would. Let a Come on, y'all, please do what I tell you to do. Because when you touch them, you snatching them back on their posts. I need you to touch three people. And I need you to tell them you anointed for this. Come on, here, touch them again. You anointed for this. Randara basheke, roto rebi andara basaya, batandari aloba basheke, roto rebi andara basaya. You anointed to deal with them trifling church members. You anointed to deal with them hard-headed people. You anointed to deal with the gang and the violence in your city. You anointed to deal with the, the demons, the demons in your city. Come on, touch somebody say, you anointed for this. You anointed for this. All right. Now, let me complete my assignment. Have a seat. Have a seat. Let's, let me complete my assignment. So he leaves. He leaves. And he gets on the boat and he goes to the next location. Everybody hear me. He only comes where there's a need. He's not coming in your section if nobody needs him. He gets off the boat, please listen, and a crowd is around him. How do you get him to look at you over the crowd? Let's talk Bible. The Bible says that there's a man by the name of Jairus, please listen, and he's a leader of the synagogue. He got title, he got position, but the devil has attached itself to something that's dear to him. Now, I'm amazed at how the saints are able to wash their kids off and say, you know, they just ain't right. How dare you let the devil have what you carried for nine months? <laughs> Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. How dare you let the devil have what you laid hands on when you were pregnant and you prophesied and you decreed and you declared that you were carrying a vessel of God. I wish she was sitting next to somebody that won't let the devil have a house. And so he leaves the daughter at the house. And I had three seats at the front because he sits in the seat of the intercessor. Let's talk. Say God is in this seat. And his daughter seat is empty because I left her at home. But I need to get your attention because I know there's a lot of people up in here, but everybody ain't going through what I'm going through. Now they might be sitting up in here trying to be cute, but how do I get you to pay attention to me. Mm. Ah, sitting here with your legs crossed, ain't gonna get it, boo. You ain't gotta say nothing to me. Come on here, sitting here, looking good, waiting on somebody to look at you, that ain't gonna get you nothing. Ah, you might 
might as well go for broke. Uh, watch me, watch me, watch me. I want you to pay attention. Two things that Jerry's did. Number one, he used his body. He used his body. One thing about the church is we have always had good posture to get God's attention. Y'all ain't got to say, you got to be careful that the enemy doesn't paralyze us, that we come into his house and get real comfortable and nobody release a praise or anything. The Bible says, and he fell at the feet of Jesus. Now there's a lot you can do with your body. You could kneel, you could stand, you could raise your hand, you could wave your hand, you could clap your hand, you could leap for joy, you could walk out your salvation, you could dance like David danced, but you can't just sit here because sitting here ain't going to get you nothing. I need you to make sure you ain't sitting in the paralyzed section. I need you to make sure you sit next to somebody. You got to move your body. Oh, Bashata, I'm coming to get you in a few more minutes. Uh, put a, hold on y'all put a put, put a warning on your neighbor say you got to do something up in here you got to do something up in here if your feet small take your shoes off if your hair tight take your wig off but your house is more important than your hair ain't nobody got time to play with you now watch me watch me ready watch me watch me i've noticed something and i need y'all to really hear me i've noticed how we are toning down our body language because we're trying to be like somebody else. But as I go preach to them, can I give you revelation? They want to be like you. They want what you had, but you don't want to do it no more because you think that, you know what, I have too much education or I have too much class. Let me tell you something. Okay, how educated I get. If I got to leap, I leap. Wait, 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 wait. If I got to run, I run. But by any means necessary, God's going to get to do something for me tonight. Wait, 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 wait. It's not just your body. Hold on one minute. And then he opens his mouth. Please pay attention. He sees you before he hears you. Ooh. He sees you. As a matter of fact, looking at, looking at you makes him pay you some attention. And he says, hey, I need you to come home with me. And I need you to lay hands on my daughter so that she can be healed and live. That was not a question. That was a statement. Which means that, what is that? It's heaven. In Revelation 4, they say, God sits around the throne and there's movement. Four beasts are flying back and forth. There's movement. Coming out of their mouth, holy. 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 Lord God, who was and is to come. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And the 24 elders take their crowns off. What that mean? I don't care what kind of position you got. Never let your position stop you from giving God glory. Take off your title. Take off your position and begin. Watch me, watch me. When you do that then, watch me, you create the atmosphere for him to come in. I'm going to give you 20 seconds. You're going to move your body and you're going to open your mouth and you're going to release a praise in this building. Come on y'all. I need you to open your mouth. When I count to three, I I need you to open if some of y'all want to walk you gotta walk but i need you to do what you gotta do one get ready i need you to move your body and i need your mouth to open because god's about to do something miraculous in this building you're not going home the way you came on the count of three i need you to move your body and open your mouth one two three go glory We give you glory. We give you glory. Hey, my son. Roto re mi anda da basa. He shot to rondo the ball. Come on. Move your body. Open your mouth. Here come Jesus. Jesus coming. Jesus coming. Jesus coming, 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 open your mouth, move your body.
about to get delivered. Somebody's son is about to be saved. Somebody's marriage is about to be rectified. Somebody's doctor's report is about to be changed. Somebody's heads are about to be cold. Somebody's body is about to fall in line. Somebody's money is about to come in the mail. Everybody stand. Don't walk out this building. Don't walk out this building. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Don't walk out this building. I need you to make sure you got somebody to believe God. Reach up a grab and say, Jesus coming, Jesus coming, Jesus. And the Bible says, and he went with him. He's going to follow you home. He's going to follow you home. He's going to be at your house by the time you get there. When you get to work, I decree and I declare, I need three witches to be fired that's been messing with you. I need God. You ready? You ready? Please. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. Please, please, please listen to me. And the Bible says that while he was walking, you know the story, but the one with the issue of blood, she jumped out, she took what she wanted. So it's like Jesus wasn't coming fast enough. And for some of y'all in the building, you feel as if he hasn't been coming fast enough. And you've gotten a bad report. And the Bible said that somebody ran up to the man and said, hey, leave him alone. Your daughter is dead. And for some of y'all, you've been getting bad news. But the Lord told me to tell you, just like he told Jarius, don't doubt, just believe. Don't doubt, just believe. Don't doubt, just believe. Don't doubt, just believe. Please, y'all, I got my reasons for doing what I tell you to do. Grab a neighbor by the hand and just begin to pray that God increase their faith. Don't doubt, just believe. Don't doubt, just believe. Don't doubt, just believe. Don't doubt, just believe. If it got worse, it's for a bigger miracle. If it got worse, it's for something more miraculous. What you are asking for was it big enough he wants to do more than what you've been praying for don't doubt just believe don't doubt just believe come on y'all please I know it looked bad I know it sound bad but God sent you in the building to get your faith back up Amen. Lift your hands and worship. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's about to be turned. It's about to flip. I will overturn. Overturn it and it shall be no more. I will overturn. Overturn. Overturn it and it shall be no more. Do the word of the Lord. I will. Okay. Okay. Don't leave out this building. Don't leave out this building. Don't leave out this building. I warn you, don't leave out this building. You've been arrested. You've been arrested. The door is about to be closed. I need you to hear me. Based on what you need, you can't be around anybody. Based on what you've been going through, you can't be around emotional people. You need to be around people that believe that God could do 
anything. Everybody in here don't believe, but I'm going to give you an opportunity to check who you're standing next to because you need backup in the spirit. Please listen. Please listen. Please listen. He walks in the house and there's a commotion. They're emotional. Please listen. Please listen. They're emotional. They're weeping and crying loud. Please hear me. Emotions don't get you a miracle. I need you to hear me because you could shout but don't believe he's able. You can cry but don't believe he's able. You ready? Please listen. Listen. He releases a word of faith. The child is not dead but sleep. Watch me. Let me show you how they were emotional. They went from crying to laughing. And for some of y'all, you are a joke to people. But I hear the Lord saying, you're going to have the last laugh. It must Don't doubt, just believe. If you got faith, lift your hands and worship God for five seconds. Don't leave this building. 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 You about to see a miracle. Don't leave this building. You about to get a miracle. Oh, my shaya. You ready? Listen to me. Everybody listen. When he put them out, he took the mother and the father and the three disciples in the room because I need you to be close up to what's about to happen. I need you to be in a tight situation so you can see a miracle. Please listen. When doors are closed, that means you get close to somebody who got faith. Come on, let's talk. I put them out, but I closed the door so I can make your circle tight. I need you to make sure you're next to somebody that believe God the way you believe God. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. Uh, watch me. Watch me. I'm going to have you to say something. Please watch me. If they don't say it right, no harm intended, but I need you to go find somebody else. Because what you're going through, I need to make sure that I got the right hand. I don't want to disrespect you, but I need a miracle. I'm going through too much to be next to somebody who come in here trying to, who don't have a praise on their lips. And when I say this, I need you to check their praise out and make sure that they, that, they, that they are receiving what God is about to say. Turn to your neighbor and say, hey, 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 hey. November and December are about to be your miracle months. you to listen to me. <laughs> so, I came to close the door, but I came to show you proof 
that closed doors work. If you don't mind, can you put that picture on the screen? There's a picture. Can you put it on the screen? Come on, please. There it is. So that's me. I was in my early 20s. I was a single person and I sang in the choir. I didn't sing in the choir because I was a singer. I sat in the choir, I sang in the choir because I wanted to get close. I didn't want to sit all the way in the back because I was taught you got to get close to the oil. But when I got in the choir, I didn't know that God was going to begin to expose me to some other things to teach me life lessons. When I got in the choir, Dr. Maddie Moss was over the choir. So I was exposed to excellence. I was exposed to discipline. I was exposed to when the bar is raised, you don't bring it down to, down to satisfy nobody. And don't go out half prepared. She, had, she would confront you and love you at the same time. So she taught me not to settle. I would lead a choir rehearsal sometime and go up in that prayer room. Hmm. But there was a light-skinned woman by the name of Mother Shaw. Uh -huh. Her tongues were so cute. And I would sit in that prayer room and say, God, I want the prayer oil. And I need you to hear me, Church of God in Christ. The thing that scared me was that there weren't a lot of men in the prayer room. Because we turned prayer over to women because we heard the scripture that said, call for the wailing women. But when you send a boy into a room full of women and he wants her mantle, he also gets her mannerisms. because there wasn't a man to release the mantle. So you called him a punk. You called him out of his name when the only thing he wanted was the oil. I need you to hear me. I need you to hear me. I sang in that choir because I wanted to get close to you all. I didn't want your chain. I didn't want your collar. I didn't want your suits. I want your oil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want your endurance. Yes, sir. I want to be next to you so I can know what it is to hold yes, on. Yes, sir. I want to be next Hallelujah. to you so that I can feel the anointing. Because if I get close to you, I watched you for years come to St. James Church of God in Christ. I remember your mother having a hollow that would destroy yokes. And I asked God to let the same oil that was on y'all get on me. I want some of the Heinz oil. I wanted your oil, Bishop, because you lived here in the holy city. I wanted to walk past you so you could lay hands on my belly just like you do it. Oh, I remember before you were the presiding bishop and J O N G E. And Owens, but I watched you. I monitored you because I saw that you had an anointing for business. You had an anointing for structure. You was Pentecost with class. I don't want your seats. They don't want your collar. They don't want your position. 
they want your oil. They want to know how to fight when the devil is in their house. They want to know how to lay on the altar. Come on, let me go through here. They want to know how to get to the some mothers that know how to moan in the spirit. They want to know how to walk past you and still know that you got oil. You might be oil, but you're older, but your oil is rich. I need you to make sure you stand it next to an anointed person. Do me a favor. Reach over, grab it, everybody, and just squeeze it and say, I need the oil, I need the oil, I need the oil, I need the oil, I need the oil. Squeeze that hand, squeeze that hand, squeeze that hand. I need the oil, 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 I need I need the oil, I need the oil, I need the oil. You came in here on empty, but God is about to refill your oil. Hey. I hear the Lord say, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. I need y'all to obey me. I need y'all to obey me. This is your last assignment, but I need y'all to follow my lead. And I need to rebuke your spirit of trying to get out of here. You're going to go to a musical. I'm okay with that. But I need you to get your oil before you leave here. I got to make sure you get what you need. Because when you get home, your situation is going to be turned for the better. I need you to be able to go into your house and lay hands on everybody in your house. I need you to have the anointing to turn your church around. I need you to have the anointing to turn your city around. I need you to make sure you sit next to desperate people that want the oil. Reach over, grab and even my hand, squeeze it and say, I want the oil. I need 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 the oil. I came to get the oil. I came to get the oil. I came to stir the oil up again. I came to stir the oil up again. I came to stir the oil up again. It's going to get on your children. It's going to get on your grandchildren. The same God that did it for me is going to do it for your children. I come against everybody that's recruiting your children. And I decree and I declare you will raise up a generation. Okay. Okay. Am I free? I'm okay. I'm okay with time. Tell me if I'm okay. Let me know if I'm okay. Am I okay? Okay, listen. I need y'all to do me one favor. Please obey me. Please obey me. I'm only doing what the Lord told me to do. I need you to get in groups of threes. One, two, three. 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 Hurry up. One, two, three. 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 You ready? One, two, three. Not four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now look at your group. I need somebody to say, I'm number one. I need somebody else to say, I'm number two. I need somebody else to say, I'm number three. We're about to have a real quick prayer meeting. Who's number one? Who's number two? Who's number three? Who's number one? Who's number two? And who's number three? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Watch me. If I'm number one, I need you to get between two and three and I need you to lock them in just like this I need you to lock them in just like this I need you to lock number one in hey two and three I need you to lock number one in I need you to lock number one in are you ready are you ready are you ready number one the Lord sent me to tell you that you represent the dead child that there's some things that was been dead that God's about to resurrect for you hey number one some things that you thought were over God's about to bring it back to you. God's about to raise up what you had given up on. God's about to literally resurrect what you thought was dead. Hey, number one, I need you to hear me. You are about to experience the resurrection power of God. Hey, number one, you had some dreams that you thought that were dead, but the Lord sent me to tell you, number one, you got the right ones around you right now, and God's about to give you resurrection. I call your dream back. Hey, two and three, start praying 
for number one. We lay hands on number one. And we pray right now, God, that you resurrect what was dead. Any area that they lacked in. We pray, God, that you breathe life back into it. Breathe life back into their name. Breathe life back into their ministry. Breathe life back into their dream. We cover you, number one. We cover you, number one. We command you, number one. Arise. Arise. Arise! Hey, two and three! Start tapping number one! Say, get up, 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 get up! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! You still got time! Do it! Hey! 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 Hey, number two, listen to me. Number two, you represent Jarius. You've been praying for some stuff. tell you like he told the prophet Hezekiah I have heard your prayers I have seen your tears come on one and three we're about to cover number two we cover your faith it's your time and your season. What you pray for. Come on, number two. Let's cover you. We cover you. We ask God to answer what you've been praying for. We believe that God is able to do exceedingly. We want God to blow your mind. Come on, one and three. Your answer is on the way. Number two. Your answer's on the way. Number two, be not weary in well-doing. Do season. Come on, one and three. I need you to cover number two. Your answer's on the way. Your answer's on the way. I don't know who this is for, but I hear the Lord say, Within seven days, he gonna blow your mind. By this time next week, come on, one and three. Come on, one and three. I need you to feel that number two. You closer than you think. That's why your warfare been great. The devil wanted you to give up, but God sent me in the building. You ready? Number three, your turn. Get in the middle. Oh, number three. tell you you represent Peter James and John the Lord told me to tell you number three I hand picked you and I've exposed you to some great things number three you have a track record number three the Lord told me to tell you I've done enough for you already to let you know that I am your God. Number three, based on what God did for you, 
You can't doubt him now. God did it, God did it, God did it, God did it. God did it, God did it, God did it, God did it. Hey, one and two. Stop telling number three. God did it, God did it, God did it, God did it. God did it, God did it, God did it, God did it. God did it, God did it, God did it. God did it, God did it. to hit that cross stand. Emma. Pastors. Preachers. There's a tired spirit among pastors because you're feeling as if you've been beat down. You've been there, but they walked away. And there's a part of you that you've been changing. And the Lord sent me to catch you so that you could catch your heart. Because if you mess up, you're going to let these people change you. There's a glory cloud about to hit this building. Hold your circle. Say, don't you let me go until we feel the glory. Oh, my she. Roto rebe she, he mashaya, huma mashike, aya satata. Come on, y'all, aya. Come on here. Some of y'all came here on E. God's about to get you drunk again. You about to pray in the Holy Ghost the way you used to pray in the Holy Ghost. I need you to forget about everybody. I need you to make sure your circle get the glory. On the count of three, I want the church to shout glory as loud as you can. Those of you that are online, the glory is about to hit wherever you are. Everybody that called glory is about to have the glory encounter. On the count of three, don't you let me go. Don't you let me go. One. Two, you better shout glory as loud as you can. Don't you let me go until we get what God sent us in here to get. One, two, three.
your hands close your eyes number one I need you to worship God like something just got resurrected number two I need you to worship God like your prayers just got answered number three I need you to worship God like he's about to do it again you have a reason to open your mouth oh Cut the music, Danny. No music, nothing but voices. Open your mouth as God give us the sound back. Open your mouth as we get the sound back. Open your mouth as God puts an anointing in your vocal cords. God restore the sound. Come on, God restore the sound. Yeah, my Come on, just a few seconds. I had to be obedient. I knew what God wanted to do in this building. I beg you. I beg you, church. I beg you. I beg you, bishops. I beg you, preachers. Please keep oil. 
because there's someone younger looking for oil. There's some oil chasers. They need your oil. You've been through too much to close your bottle now. Oh my son. Everybody stand still. So because of you, I started a prayer meeting at four o'clock in the morning. It's been going on for 10 years. I got you. Every second and fourth Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning because of what you all put in me. Because of you. I've learned how to preach until the power hit the building. Because of you. I am who I am. You birthed me. You birthed me. You birthed me. And there's something in the belly of the church of God in Christ that's kicking that's ready to come forth again. And it's ready to birth the next generation. Please. I you. I beg you to go back to pray. I beg you to release the sound that's in your belly. I beg you not to become paralyzed in your church. If your hands for 10 seconds and worship God right there. It's 10, 9, 8. Six, five, four, three, two. the Jonathan Desvernay Gospel Channel. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns forever and ever. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Go.